Hello everybody and welcome back to my Roblox how-to series on everything that you need to know about how to make Roblox games. So today we're going to be talking about storage. I'm going to handle three different services today. Unlike the other videos where I was just doing one at a time like the lighting and the material service. They got their own videos. But with these, or this video I'm going to do replicated first, replicated storage, and server storage all at the same time. Since, you know, they're closely related to each other. They're all dealing with storage. We could talk about all of them, right? So let's get started. First, we'll talk about the server storage. That's probably the easiest one to talk about. This is just storage for the server, essentially. You can put things like models. You can put server scripts inside of here. You can put module scripts. But really, it's just storage for the server and the special thing about it is that only the server can access it so something like a local script or even like an exploiter who has gotten access to the code of the game cannot access anything in server storage as well as server script service anything in here is completely barricaded unless somebody backdoors and then you've got troubles but local scripts you can't really do much with local scripts in here since they won't run at all but you can put scripts in here and they'll run just fine you can put module scripts in here they'll run just fine but usually you want to put them in server script service instead that one's pretty simple um now let's talk about replicated first so replicated first is like client storage, essentially. It's kind of like a thing that people use when they're making loading screens. That's usually what it's used for, and not many uses end up coming about from it. I can show you real quick. You can have just something like this. where you have a frame, right? And we can just size it up. Just make it like that big for the example. And then in here, I'm just gonna write some code for loading screen real quick. Okay, this is just really simple code where I just remove the default loading screen. That's what this function does. And then it just parents the GUI. So if I went into the game, then it's going to remove the default loading screen. And instead it's going to put that frame in front of me like that. There you go. And obviously this is just a white box and it doesn't even go off your screen. It's kind of annoying. But it's just a really basic example of how Replicated First is used. It replicates things to the client. It's the first thing that happens on the client side of things behind server rendering, all that kind of stuff. But client-specific actions, the first thing that happens is all the stuff in Replicated First. That was pretty simple. Server storage for the server, Replicated First for the client. Now, replicated storage. Now, this one is like the connection point between these two. We had one specifically for server, specifically for client, and this one is for both. You can see I have some remote events in here. These are just from other videos in the series. If you haven't checked them out, go watch the playlist. But yeah, most of the time... Replicated storage is used for things like this with remote events or sometimes they're used to store like Values like number values string values that kind of thing in my game the valley I have some boolean values that I store in there for different properties Like if it's the first time that a player has Ever loaded up this save file that kind of thing but it's just storage that both the client and the server can access and really you can put all this stuff inside of something like the workspace and it would work the exact same 
but this is more just for organization purposes so that the workspace stays being just a thing where you have rendered objects like parts and models in it instead of having things like boolean values and remote events and remote functions and all that you can just put that in replicated storage so it's you know just storage instead of mixing it with everything else so that's really it for this video it was a really simple one just going over storages replicated first is for the client server storage is for the server and replicated storage is the connection point between the two where both can access it Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did and join my Discord server. I have that linked in the description. You get updates on the Valley that I don't post here on YouTube. So you can see things early before I even put out the devlogs, which usually do take a long time. Anyways, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.